everyone, welcome back. We've got a lot of packages to open. Stuff has finally started coming in. Um, here's some stuff that I opened or I got in the mail kind of, you know, um, on its own. So I just went ahead and opened it. One of them was a Speed Duel box. I may have shown that already. I'm not sure. Um, Warrior of Tradition from uh, TP2. It's a rare. Really, really cool card. Um, paid about 100 for that. And then Celebi and Rayquaza, these are pretty standard, uh, 20-ish, I think. I got a uh, Elemental Hero collection in, <clears throat> and uh, two Mago Red Eyes, which unfortunately are both off-centered. Mago seems to have a problem with centering, as do most modern cards. So, um, a little bit worried about the integrity of this packaging. Hopefully it's all in top loaders and everything. We're just going to go ahead and get through it. Um, some of this stuff has taken the better part of two months to get here. So, really slow. But, ah, sweet. Um, this was really cheap. Uh, I don't know how much this was. 30 something bucks. Really happy to have. This is my third one, I think. Eradicator Epidemic Force of the Breaker. Um, oh, it's actually bent at the top. The guy did said, say played. That's unfortunate. Didn't see that in the pictures. But $30. It's alright. Not too bad. Um,. Next we have this. Let's see. Oh, okay. I don't remember why I bought this, but I saw it and I was like, you know what, I'm going to buy another one. I think it's because I sold a PSA 8. And I was like, this one looks like it could get an 8, maybe even a 9. So I picked it up. Gemini Elf. Hello in 000. I don't really want to take it out of the sleeve. But um, I think this was like 80 bucks or something. Still pretty cheap, in my opinion. Um, for now, anyways. Alright, next we've got... Wait, what is this? That's exactly the same envelopes I use, so I was like, did I get a, a kickback on something? Oh my gosh, finally, this stuff came in. Um, I ordered this back in, like, November, dude. Wow. Uh, these are just some really, really minty cards I think I picked up for pretty cheap. Maybe, maybe $20 for the lot. Just two cards, I think. Just for like, you know, grade bait. To just grade them. Um, I mean, they're ultimate rares from Cybernetic Revolution. They're both really clean. Yeah, cool cards. Alright, keep on moving. So far, the integrity of the packaging has been well. Um, I have been telling all of the people that I buy cards from um, that to ship it well. Oh, this is also another really cool card I forgot. Bought two of these. I love love these cards. Um, I don't know, they're just so unique. These are the uh, Dungeon Dice Monsters promos. I have both of these already, but um, they looked a little bit better than the ones I had raw, so I picked them up for um, 120 bucks. This is the they call the ultimate rare one, and this is the secret rare one. This is my favorite art of the, uh, all of them, really. I don't have all of them, um, just because I'm pretty picky when it comes to buying those. I really want to buy those cards in good shape. Um, all right, next. That's a cool, that's cool. I'm glad that came in. I completely forgot about that. All right, what do we have next? Uh, blue Eyes Spirit. Oh, nothing special here. This was like $7. I pick those up whenever I can, just because I like them, and I think uh, they're will be collectible one day. Next, we've got inside of a package. Uh, 
This is actually the day after Christmas, so it's like Christmas. Except I had to pay for everything and nothing was free. Alright. Oh. Oh, this is another cool card. Crystal B. Sapphire Pegasus. Um, I mean, I don't know what else you say. Ultimate Rare. Really, really clean. 150 bucks. Love this card. I'm glad to have one that's really, really minty. Alright, next we've got um, two priority mailboxes. Not sure what's in this. I haven't really bought any like collections or anything like that, so I don't think I did. It's just one card, I think. Oh, more ultimate rares. Sick. This is another. Super, super cool card. This is the best version of Karibo. Beats the hell out of the regular Karibo. Winged Karibo. Ultimate rare. The Lost Millennium. Check out these ultimates. Cool. Ultimates are expensive. That was like $250, I think. Last is a box. I know what this is. This is going to be... Oh, oh, no, that's open. This one's going to be pretty cool. I've been waiting for this one for a while as well. And it finally showed up in the mail. Oh, he gave me some throw-ins. That's so cool. Look, I got some of those. And uh, some of those. Cool. That's cool. Oh, wow, he gave me more. Oh, no. Oh, I don't need more bulk, dude. But I appreciate it. I appreciate the thought. All right. Don't really buy too much sealed product, but um, this was a super good deal at um, $160. So um, I picked it up. Don't own one. I've always wanted to own one. Uh, I think these are around 200 so I did get a pretty decent deal on it. Not going to open it. I don't have any good kind of luck when it comes to pack openings. I will open these, though. Uh, Legendary Duelist and Mortal Destiny. Alright, let's see what these throw-ins were. This is super cool. This stuff is all free. Um, are any of these cards good? Probably not. But they are hollow. They're probably all worth less than a dollar. Not worth selling. And I'm not even going to... Let's just go ahead and look through it, I guess. Oh, just more bulk. Commons and rare. Oh, these are rares. Oh, wow. Toon Chaos? Yeah, Toon Chaos. Just bulk. Speed duels. Alright. Let's test our luck with these uh, Legendary Duelist packs. I'm just going to open all four of them. And, um... What's good out of this set? Uh, I'd love to get a Chaos Curse Necrofear, that's what it's called. And, um, uh, is, the, is this the set with the Malicious in it? Like, Malicious Bane and that stuff? Evil, uh, Malicious Gold? Right? I don't know. I really have no idea what's in this set. Except the cards that are, those are like the Banishment cards. That's Cursed Necrofear... I don't know. I've bought a lot of the singles from this set, but not like the expensive ones. All right, let's let's t take a look at how terrible my pack opening luck is. Doom Cow Knight, that's a cool card. Infernal Prodigy, Fire Ant, Caster. Oh, Earthbound, Geoglyph. Supers in every pack, right? Is that right? I I don't know, but that's a super. Never even heard of it, seen it, or anything like that. Let's see, next pack. Predaplant card, gimmick puppet card, Predaponics, gimmick puppet. Oh, so you're not guaranteed a hollow in every pack. Okay. So that super was a good pull. Well, it was a pull. Not good. 
Come on, Curse Necrophy here. That would be cool. Roar of the Earthbound Immortal. And yeah, nobody cares about these. Infernal Gainer. Another rare. This is why, folks, I do not open packs. Because my luck is garbage. Gainer. Oh, we're getting repeats already. Gimmick Puppet uh, Bisque Doll. Biscay Doll. And um, Perform Puppet. Okay, cool. Well, we did get um, two hollows out of four packs. Is that is that good? Don't know. Um, that's all I have for this opening. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time.